Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM Final Mod Pack. In the last episode we have found out that we are ready to go to Mars and we are now researching Cydonia or Bust to finally be able to take off and uh, go kicks alien brains butt. But before that we want to re finish all the research and we want to also have a look at some special radar craft uh, and how they look like on the battlescape so we will equip the craft with one soldier uh, who would like to do this captain j stank or maybe neo yeah let's take neo and you can take um no we don't have a toxic suit here yeah i probably did it in um in Egypt okay let's uh, let's do a toxic suit here as well just to see how it looks nothing fancy we need only one it will take five hours ready excellent so Neo put it on toxic suit right there and you'll get uh, one doggy just in case You'll get a sectopod plasma. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Space use 2. Available 7 and only 1 HWP. Okay. Let's take uh, flamethrower because you can't hurt yourself. And uh, smoke grenade because you can't hurt yourself either with that. And toxigan I think we have sold already. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So put that on. And probably take a couple more smokes. Excellent. One, two, three. Prime that later. So this looks pretty, pretty cool. Let's see how it looks in battle. Okay, Hawkeye number five. Here we go. Uh, we'll wait for the day. I would say. What is this, by the way? Retaliation fighter snake men. So only three snake men will be there. I think snake men are pretty um, invulnerable to fire. I may be completely wrong, but we are not going to fight them. Of course, we have uh, more important things to do. What was that? I didn't click anything. Oh yeah, it disappeared. <laughs> really. It disappeared on us. Is that even possible? <laughs> what? Okay. Well, we have also new grenades for the grenade launcher, which we haven't used for a long time. It has the same explosive power as the Illyrium grenades for the stun launcher, so I guess they are sort of alternative weapons. Used with a standard grenade launcher, this item creates a powerful explosion comparable to the alien grenade. Well, comparable, but not exactly the same. It's a little bit less potent. Okay, then... Uh, plasma pistol. Now with 80 guys, let's do plasma pistol clip. Sure, I will not uh, manufacture that. You can probably imagine how it looks like and what it does. Sentry sh ship cerebral retaliation. Now we have, um, yes, we have fusion ball defenses. So, you know what? Uh, you can feel free to find my base. Dark Star is finished. That's fine. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, and you know what? Let uh, them refuel. Oh, this is also nice can even carry a plasma beam. <laughs> no crew though. So Darkstar has a plasma beam. Then uh, Hawkeye doesn't have weapons but has a crew. And Avax doesn't have anything. Okay, are you refueled? Yes, fuel 100%, fuel 100%. And you will need two hours to refuel. Only two hours, really. That's cool. That's cool. So go to base. You are refueled. And well, two hours to, to replenish your, your weapons. Okay. But that must be enough now. Excellent. And now let's uh, let's save as 
radar test. And let's see how well all these uh, things will do. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning, right? Let's start with AVAX and send it about here. Okay. Then let's uh, take um, Hawkeye and send it on the other side. Just about there, I would say. And let's take also Dark Star and how much was it? Something like this, maybe. Yeah, uh, Hokai, you need to go a little bit less than that. Here. Okay. So, 8 o'clock, and let's see how. 8 o'clock on 23rd of April. Let's see how far, how, how long can they survive. Okay, retaliation done. Don't care about you. Anymore? So, 24th, 8 o'clock, one whole day. And they still have, wow, 93%. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. And they have really big, um, big uh, circle of detection there. Actually, these guys have probably, probably the same, I would say. But these guys have a bigger one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 24. 3, 8 o'clock. Very large retaliation Southeast Asia. They are going after us now. Let's just uh, double check. 85% after more than two days. So they can stay in the air for like at least, well, almost two weeks. Wow. That's good. What about you? Okay, you can stay a lot less. 50, 54% already. And 55 on AVAX. Okay, so AVAX and um, Hawkeye will have the same, I think. AVAX has fuel capacity 1500. Okay. Cool. The new generation of AVAX. Latest technology allows detect all kind of targets on significant distance. The English is somehow broken on these craft. Um, Hokai, a radar craft with additional fuel tank and increased radar range. It may also carry a small XCOM squad to battle. Yeah, same fuel capacity, 1500. Isn't it the same as, as, a, as a Sky Ranger? It is the same as the Sky Ranger. So Sky Ranger can also stay in the air for like four days. So why do I need why do I need AVAX if Sky Ranger can do the same thing, basically? Yeah, that's like a waste of uh, everything. <laughs> Dark Star, however, has uh, has more fuel capacity. Okay, so maybe maybe Dark Star isn't that bad. It can shoot, it can stay in the air for a long time, and has a big range. Has a big range. So, are you going after us, a uh, very large UFO? Seems like you are. Let me double check China. Yeah, we have a Grav Shield and Fusion Ball defenses. Go ahead. Oh, you didn't even find us yet. It doesn't matter then. Cydonia or bust. It is now clear that the alien hordes are being controlled from an underground base in Cydonia, which is an unusual area of Mars featuring five-sided pyramids and a large formation resembling a human face. Cydonian civilization once flourished on Mars many millions of years ago, but we do not know why they died out, why it died out, or what the connection is with the latest alien activity there. Whatever the explanation, we must send an expedition to Cydonia. This is the only way that we can defeat the aliens. We must destroy the controlling master brain. We will need an Avenger craft equipped with the most awesome destructive power at our disposal. There is nothing more we can learn here. We must await the outcome of the Cydonian assault. And we definitely shall. Let's do the pistol. And check the craft, 27th, so three days later, still pretty good, 77, 
27. Pistol clip. That's fine. Let's do blaster clip. Okay, Hawkeye is the first to go on uh, 8 o'clock, 5 days later. So it uh, lasted 5 days. Very large. It's probably going after us. AVAX is going now. So basically 5 days uh, uptime for the starting craft. I'm not sure if um, Sky Ranger can hold that long as well. It's a good question. Sky Marshal. Um, do we have somewhere in... in um, China in Down Under. They are relatively safe. Let's, uh, let's try if you can stay there for like that long. Okay, Sky Marshal number three. Go there and it's 28th, so five days will be phew, <laughs> somewhere in, uh, in May. Anyway, let's check, did they find us already? No, it doesn't look like they found us. That's cool. Sky Marshal 3, low on fuel, returning to base after two days. Less than two days. Sky Marshal 3. Is the UFOpedia lying to me? Uh, or maybe they don't spend fuel the same way. Sky Marshal. Fuel capacity 1500. What the heck? AVAX 1500. Okay, 1500. So how come these guys last for 5 days and Sky Ranger only for... for 2. Not only 2. Not even 2. Hmm. Anyway. These guys seem to hold for a lot longer. <laughs> I guess um, we don't even need to try anymore with them. Sure, do whatever you want. I, d I don't care anymore. Um, maybe I should just uh, shoot you down. Oh yeah, we wanted to see the Hawkeye, didn't we? So, um, sure. Darkstar, you can shoot, right? Go after them. Oh, you are freakishly slow, aren't you? <laughs> um, where are you? Darkstar. Maximum speed 360. Compared to, let's say, Sky Ranger. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really slow. <laughs> it's really slow. Go home and we'll send uh, the Avenger. That's cool. Nobody's going to make life miserable for the people of South Africa if I'm around. Shoot them down. And we'll go we will go and visit these guys. We still want to see that craft and the toxic suit, right? No. Uh, let's wait a little bit. Actually, these guys will move freakishly slow. Let's send them already. Wow, they will probably not even make it. <laughs> Neo! Step on the gas pedal. Oh, hello. Excellent rating. We haven't done anything, I think, in this month. <laughs> and we still have excellent rating. I don't care. Um, it's beginning of May, right? Let's save and continue. Small scout, terror, sure. Retaliation, muton, sure. Antarctica, really? Oh yeah, I do have a base there. It is protected though, so I'm not worried. Patrol for a moment and go now. Select target. Begin mission. Look at Neo. 
You're cool. Let's prime all your grenades. Put them like here. And look at this. It's sort of a uh, modified Sky Ranger, isn't it? Yeah. And probably this is the compartment for soldiers, and this would be the compartment for, um, well, the radar dish operating people. <laughs> the radar dish, by the way, looks really cool. Really cool. And this uh, door over here looks very cool as well, I have to say. This is a neat craft. Okay, Neo, show yourself to us. Not bad. Whatever that is on your back. I like it. I like it. Yeah, sure. Looks almost like this, although this looks sort of thin and this looks uh, rather thick. <laughs> but it's nice. It's nice. Okay, we are not gonna stay there for too long unless Neo 23. Yeah, I want to have a look quickly. Uh, come here, doggy. Oh, we see these guys, really? That's fine. I just want uh, Neo to self-destruct self with uh, the fire. And uh, he seems to be immune. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's how we like it. You can come back, doggy. It's uh, burning a little bit, but... Um, uh, I guess uh, stay behind then. Okay. Off you go. Back home. Retaliation, yeah, sure. Okay, so our goal now, infiltration, nice, retaliation, 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 is to finish the research, and then uh, we'll... Uh, plasma blaster clip, 100 explosive, oh, that's good. This compact device is used as ammunition for a plasma blaster. It contains a small quantity of illyrium that can be recovered. I think we have seen this in action, have we? I think uh, when we mind-controlled aliens, we have been able to use their weapons and we used this as well. Yeah. Okay. So, um... What was I saying? Yeah. I was saying that we will ignore all this stupid retaliation and really? Wow. I mean, <laughs> I stopped removing retaliation mission uh, from the saves for a few episodes and look at this, like five at the same time or more. Um, good. Uh, I wanted to say something. Yeah, so we are finished, basically. Uh, next episode we are going to Mars. I believe this episode will be published on Wednesday, I think. Not sure. Anyway, I will stop recording after this episode is finished, don't worry. And you can give me your feedback, whatever feedback you like. If you would like to go to the Mars mission or if you would not like to go to the Mars mission, what weapons should I take? What heavy weapon platforms should I take, uh, what uh, armor, which soldiers, and so on and so forth. Wish me good luck, if you would, and um, next Monday will be the final episode. Or maybe it will be two episodes, final mission, not sure, but I will definitely uh, play or start playing the Mars mission on the weekend so you have time like until Saturday morning or something like that to give me your feedback and until then we will just uh, continue with the research uh, it's been 20 minutes we still have uh, a little bit of time 
Infiltration, infiltration, base, wow. Do I need to really do something about this? Uh, what kind of score do they get? Oh, we are in the minus already. I would like them to at least... Um, to find at least one of my bases. Are you retaliation? No. Infiltration. Infiltration. Oh yeah, they are going to do another base here. Over there, retaliation. Okay. North America. So, North America. Well, let me save. Retaliation. Let's put down the mine shields in North America. In Canada. Right? They are looking for our base somewhere here. So, um, we have uh, three mine shields. Let's get rid of them. And probably also in, um, in China, I think there's a... Next time I see a retaliation, I will put down also uh, whatever they have there. Infiltration, sure. No, not the Dark Star. Oh, by the way, let's check. Yeah, Avenger can go to Sidonia. Good. Retaliation, South America. Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to... Do too much, but you are a battleship already. So... Uh, Let's quickly do that so that we can see how effective the defenses are. Yeah, feel free to find my base. Whatever. Retaliation Antarctica. Good. How did you even get there? Dismantle. Cannot dismantle, why not? Oh, because of this. Yeah, let's dismantle all of those. <laughs> we'll... Uh... We want to see how they shoot. How the aliens stand no chance. Cool, I think that's all of them. Now they should be able to find us as well. Yes. Excellent. North America. Still, I wanted to check the base. Avenger. Where do you think it is? I think it's in Spain. No, it's... Uh, they really like this area. Close to Prague. This will be like the third base close to Prague. I wonder, what are you... What do you want there? In base four. Good. Okay, retaliation. Just find me already. Plasma blaster. This is a devastating anti armor weapon based on plasma technology, vaporizing everything around the impact point. Excellent. Um, that's all we know. So let's do some. Um, Um, uh, interrogations. Okay, they tell us about alien craft. What about navigators? Can you tell us something new? Base, retaliation. No, navigators can't. What about the commander? Oh, Antarctica is under attack. That was quick. <laughs> uh, missed three times with 80% chance to hit. That's a lot. That's a lot. But uh, my options may be really quick. Game options. Scroll speed. Uh, Geoscape, yeah. Scroll, clock, dogfight. Hmm, maybe there is... There is no option for this, which is good because it takes forever anyway. Okay. 
Sure, go ahead. Commanders don't tell us anything either. Okay, is there a soldier? No. So we have a few more engineers. Sure. They tell us about cyber disks. Okay, this miniature flying saucer is an automated terror weapon armed with a powerful plasma beam. The anti-gravity propulsion gives it a big advantage in difficult terrain. Its primary function is destruction and terror in the service of the sectoid race. Very cool. Oh, that was engineer, not a medic, which actually told us about it. That's nice. And that's about it. That's all the research we had here. Let's have a look. Yeah, we don't need all of these guys, so let's uh, sack them all. Really, we don't even need the medics anymore. I guess we, we know everything about everything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, remove that. Good, and let's check the UFOpedia if... Well, I should have checked the UFOpedia before. So, hybrids, drones, sectoids, anthropods, snake man, ethereal. Muton, floater, chthonite, waspide, reptoid, gazer. Cerebral, spitter, selatid, silacoid, tunlun, chrysalid. Cybermite autopsy, and we don't know much about cybermites themselves. Okay, we probably need an engineer for that. I may want... Uh, I may want to capture an engineer. To tell me more about this. Salamander, Reaper, Holodrone, Sectopod. Yeah, how did we learn that? Not sure. Uh, Cyberdisc, cerebral, cerebral Larva, yeah, that's this guy. So the only thing missing is the Cybermite. I will need to find out what I need uh, for that, but I think it's engineers. So, um, you know what? Um, do we have any engineers in other bases? Uh, like here? No. In uh, Down Under? No. In China? Oh, we have two engineers, okay. We don't need the soldiers. Remove that and let's transfer to Egypt two engineers like that and research those. Yeah. Actually, let me save this and I will change the number from two to like ten uh, in case they tell us a lot of other stuff. And. Um, I'll be back and finish the research. See you in a second. And we're back and we should have like 20 engineers in our alien containment. Yes, there they are. So let's uh, put them in the interrogation chamber and let's see if we can find out more about those cyber mites. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty nice, pretty nice. This miniature robot is an automated terror weapon and represents the pinnacle of the alien robotics. As soon as the powerful optical sensor spots a target, the creature runs to it and attacks. The miniaturized Illyrium core is set to ignite and explode once damaged enough, making the act of killing the creature deadly for anyone nearby. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case in final mod pack, maybe in the original mod of the cover alien, of the waspite alien. These guys were exploding, but they certainly are not exploding in final mod pack. Uh, maybe I should ask on the forum if that is the intention or just a bug. <laughs> Literally a bug. <laughs> and uh, let's see if they can tell us more. Terror, base, sure. Go ahead, whatever you like. They can tell us more about the sentry ship, okay. This small UFO is tasked with observation and patrol duties. It is armed for war and will provide some challenge to our interceptors. Maybe. Okay, can you tell us something more?
Yeah, that's how we like them. Downed. Yeah, they can tell us about Large Scout. Maybe something more. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, that would uh, give us a lot of negative points. So let's uh, just touch down and go away. Excellent. Nine civilians killed. What's our score? Uh, minus 2000. Wow. <laughs> uh, good. That's fine. Supply ship. Anything else? Infiltration, infiltration. Excavator. Excavators are small ships that are mainly used for digging and construction work. They represent little threat to our ships. Okay. Anything else you can tell us? Base, 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 base. Wow, so many. North America. Really? Okay. Come on. Abductor. We know about these guys. What else? Battleship, sure. And that's it. Even though we have some engineers in stock, we can't research them anymore. Yeah, so let's... Uh, let's sack them. Remove, and um, this is it. This is it. Maybe I will just wait for... Um, the next month supply ship sure just to see what the game does if we have such a terrible rating yeah they decreased our um, income by four and a half million almost <laughs> and Germany has signed a secret pact yeah they are eating out of our um, European support pretty rapidly that's cool though first of June yeah, maybe I will wait a few days and attack uh, Mars on my birthday. That would be a nice birthday present. Don't you say? Don't you think? Anyway, let's save here. This was part 119. It's the end of it. And when we come back, we are going to Mars. So, just like I said um, in the middle of the episode, let me know whatever you like before we go there. I will not record any more episodes until you have at least a day or two to give me some feedback. And then it will be the end. Don't worry, OpenXCOM will continue. We'll be playing um, OpenXCOM Extended, actually, with uh, X Pirates Total Conversion from Dioxine. But uh, more about it a little bit later. For now, I say bye-bye. Till next time. <laughs>